the new concept in the 5G new radio is a feature known as bandwidth paths or BWPs. Bandwidth paths enable more flexibility in how the resources are assigned within a given carrier so that multiple different signal types can be sent in a given bandwidth. Most base stations can utilize the wider bandwidths available in 5G. User equipment or UE capabilities, however, will vary and it will be more challenging for some of the UEs to use the larger available bandwidths. Bandwidth part enable multiplexing of different signals and signal types for better utilization and adaptation of spectrum and UE power. Bandwidth part has its own numerology that can be configured differently for different requirements. One bandwidth part or BWP may have reduced energy requirements while another may support different functions or services and yet another may provide coexistence with other systems. Bandwidth part will support legacy 4G devices and new 5G devices on the same carrier. The screen shows some examples of how bandwidth parts can support different services in a given carrier. LTE carriers used to be narrower in bandwidth, up to 20 MHz maximum that could be aggregated together to create a channel bandwidth up to 100 MHz in LTE Advanced or up to 640 MHz in LTE Advanced Pro. In comparison, 5G NR maximum carrier bandwidth is up to 100 MHz in frequency range 1 from 450 MHz to 6 GHz or up to 400 MHz in frequency range 2 from 24 GHz to 52.6 GHz that can be aggregated with a maximum bandwidth of 800 MHz. An operator could choose one or more subcarrier spacing blocks for actual data transmission in these bandwidth parts. A cell may have many subcarrier spacings and a UE device is not required to transmit or receive the entire band. For example, an operator has 100 resource blocks of 15 kHz carrier spacing. Say, the overall carrier bandwidth is divided into four bandwidth parts. BWP 0 to 3, where each bandwidth part has 25 PRB's number from 0 to 24. But for UE devices to get synchronized, a reference point needs to be fixed. This is achieved with the help of the Common Resource Block or CRB. In the above example of 100 resource blocks with 15 kHz subcarrier spacing, there will be absolute numbering of common resource blocks starting from 0 to 99. Now, PRB0 in bandwidth part 0 will start from a reference point that is CRB0. PRB0 in the next bandwidth part, which is 1, will be 25 PRBs away from the reference point, CRB0 and so on. This concept can be extended to any carrier bandwidth with multiple subcarrier spacings that have different bandwidth paths divided for different use case scenarios. So, CRBs are used for UE synchronization purposes and PRBs for the actual data transmission.